This is the final of the women's minimum weight contest. This will be fought over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, representing India, Neetu. And her opponent, boxing out of the blue corner, representing England, Demi J. Terrific support for Demi Jade Restaurant. She's going to need it against Nitu Ganga. So for both these boxers, get those butterflies under control right now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You want your nerves under control. All you want to be thinking about is what the coaches have been telling you to do um, in the corner for the tactics and just get that right. Fight night. It all comes down to the next nine minutes for these two, who is going to be crowned minimum weight Commonwealth Games gold medalist. It's Nita Gangas, the 21-year-old Southpaw in the red for India against Demi Jade Restan in the blue. Gangas has been flawless so far. Well, she beat Mary Com to qualify. Although Com had to withdraw with a knee injury and then beat world silver medalist Manju Rani to book her place. So you knew she was going to be exceptionally talented. And uh, so she has proved. But can Restan take those, those skills, those Southpaw slick skills away from her? She's uh, very elusive, very hard to hit. And has some spite in her own punches, a real complete package. Yeah, I like what Reston's trying to do here. Um, she's trying to faint, she's trying to jab, find a way in a, a, inside a tall, rangier fighter at Nitsu. Certainly cannot allow this to be boxed at range. No, definitely not. Restan needs to get inside, stay on her chest, but not let it get messy. Yeah, Nitu Gangas is very clever as well when they do exchange. She'll bring in sneaky little punches as they exit as well. It always catches the judge's eye when it's close and there's a flurry of punches and you land a clever one right at the end. So many times that'll convince the judge, yeah, I won that little duel. Slips inside nicely there, Restan, to avoid the big shot coming in. Yeah, Restan needs to just just be a little bit more defensive on a way out and a way in, just to block some of those shots that Nitu is throwing. She's Nitu's looking to to counter. She's going first, throwing a couple of shots, and then going again and attacking. Yeah, that's a good point, Nicola, because it's on the way out from Restan's perspective where Nitu Gangas is so dangerous. She's so clever at timing and catching it when you think you're safe. And let me tell you, it's always when you think you're safe in the boxing ring that you're not. Oh. <laughs> Hello, pick her up, breath. Well, Demi Jade Restan's doing the right thing here. If she gets comfortable, Nitu Gangas. She's probably going to win this gold medal. Get her out of that comfort zone. Give yourself a chance. Yeah, I think Restan's warming nice up to the task. Beautiful, beautiful backhand there. She's making it messy. She's rough, roughing Nitu up, and this is what she needs to do. Well, that is half the battle in boxing. Whatever your opponent wants to do, take that away from them. That's nice. <laughs> Gangas landing very solidly there as well. Anitu's got a very sharp one-two combo. Yeah, well, Rest, you. <laughs> Rest that needs to be careful of that. Oh, Anitu showing that uh, she can dish out the uh, the rough stuff as well. Rest that had some moments in that round. Did she have enough moments against an opponent who is clearly a quality operator? I think it might be down to what the judges might like in terms of style, maybe. But you never know which way it's going to swing. Well, this is it. They both had some moments. I mean, the quality certainly coming from each of the five guards. The Botswana judge favours Restan's more robust approach. So she's she's given herself a, a chance here at the end of the first round. Demi Jade Restan, but Nitu Gangas knows 
that if she can just keep cool, stay in control of this one, and let her work, as you say, those lovely combinations and that fast, sharp left hand of hers, she can uh, she can make life easy for herself. Nothing much behind those punches, but there doesn't have to be. They just need to be accurate. Yeah, exactly. They just need to be accurate, just and just enough power to to knock the head back, so that the judges can see. But I love what Nitu's doing here. She's just throw, throwing one-two combo, stepping out just slightly out of range of rest stand, and then coming back in and throwing another combination. Rest stand just needs to pick up the pace a little bit. A bit more head movement and a bit more fainting as she's coming in if she wants to land those shots. Well, I need to Gangas to get a stoppage last time out against Priyanka Dillon of Canada. It wasn't that uh, the Canadian was hurt. It was just so much coming back at her. And the referee in the end decided, you know, you just outclassed her, which she was, and she forced a retirement of Nicole Clyde, the youngster, just boxed rings round her. She is that good when she gets going. And when she's worked an opponent out, she's an absolute nightmare to try and, try and deal with. And Demi Jade Restan is struggling to get any kind of success here. Nice right hand lead there from Gangas. Yeah, I think Restan needs to try working up to working the body and then coming up to the head. Um, She's going, she's, she's going a little bit stale in there, doing the same, same thing. She needs to switch it up, switching up her attacks a bit will give Nitu something else to think about. Yeah, and meanwhile, Nitu Gangas continues to pick her off with these very, very quick and accurate combinations. Yeah, the first couple of minutes of this second round, Restan has rather allowed Nitu Gangas to box it at her pace and do it her way. Yeah, Nitu's definitely found a range now. She's found where she's comfortable throwing the shots. Oh, like that. Yeah. Like that left hand right there. Yeah, she's looking more and more comfortable, in fact. The Indian boxer, the longer this goes on. But that was down. nice there from rest down. Yeah. But is, is it enough? It's a nice single shot, but there's a lot more coming back the other way. Yeah, she really, she really does need to pick it up. Nitsu's had some really good success in this second round. Well, we've said it before, but it's worth repeating, though. These Indian boxers, yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're... We just went into the wrong sport. Yeah. How, how's your wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Nitu Gangas might have hit the deck at the end of that second round, but it's uh, Demi Jade Restan who's on the floor in this fight because that was a very, very dominant round from the Indian boxer. Yeah, it was. I definitely think. Nitu Gangas is just so accurate with her work, and it's that accuracy that has helped her build up a very, very good lead here with just one round to go. Yeah, Restan just jumped out of the, the chair then. She's she's like, hey, I'm ready for this. Let's go. Well, this is it. Demi Jade Restan of England in the blue has just got to put the hammer down here. Bring it. Got to try and force a way through Nitu Gangas's defences. And frankly, when you're behind on the cards like this, take some risks, take a couple of chances to land your own stuff because she's got to make a dent in her opponent to have any chance now of winning gold. Yeah, definitely. Restan just needs to leave everything in, in the ring and just go go for it. She can't... She, 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 at this point, there's nothing else she can do but that. There is always a risk, of course, when you're up against a heavy-handed and hurtful opponent that uh, you will get walk onto something very, very heavy, but uh, Gangas is not known as a big puncher. It's uh, worth taking a chance here, Restan, but she's trying to work her way in here through the first minute and... Uh, Gangas stays comfortable and just keeps busy. Oh. I mean, the accuracy of Gangas Beautiful is left hand from, Beautiful left hand from Nitu there. It just shook Restan. She's definitely got the power to hurt Restan. But mm. well, that's another headache for her then. She'll get a telling off for that. No? Just fringing on the edge of the, the rule book there was <laughs> <Yeah>. Nitu. <laughs> You're not kidding. Halfway through this third round, and Nitu Restan still looks very in control of this. 
and uh, try as she might, Demi Jade Resta just can't come up with any answers here. Yeah, Nitu's got the, the perfect, perfect tactics. She's not getting too involved. She's fainting, she's throwing, and then she's throwing again. Restan just needs to grit her teeth and go go forward and just go for it now. We've got almost just a minute, a minute remaining in the round. It's all or nothing. Well, at the moment, it's looking like silver for Restan. This is another quality performance from Nitu Ganga. She didn't allow Restan to rough her up, get her out of her comfort zone. In fact, she was happy to stand and mix it up with Restan on a couple of occasions. But here we go, we're well into the final minute now, and these effective raids keep on coming from Nitu Gangas. Very, very quick hands, isn't she? Yeah, really quick. I mean, you can you can see why she's a she's a gold medalist. That's lovely. I mean, Beautiful combinations yeah, there. Three in a row. And then when Restan did commit, she got countered, and, and that, that, there's, there's no answer to this. This is just high-quality work from Nitu Gangas. And the standing eight count. Again, it's just the volume. There's so much coming, so much landing. Yeah, Restan's really struggling here now. But it's the last 10 seconds. You can see this through. Well, that was some performance from Nitu Gangas. Demi Jade Restan walks back to her corner knowing that it's a silver medal for her. But Nitu, 21 years old, making her senior debut this year, is going to be on top of the podium in Birmingham. And there was nothing Demi Jade Restan could do about it at all. And her journey is just beginning. She's going to be on a lot of major podiums for years to come, based on this evidence. Yeah, definitely. Rest, Restan and Nitu, both, both really young. Both got so much more to, in, to improve on. It's exciting to see that this is just the beginning. Well, you knew she was special coming in when she beat the uh, world silver medalist Manju Rani just to qualify me to go. Appreciation for both boxers! Well, I'm not sure any of us appreciated just quite how good she is. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision for your winner and now Commonwealth Games gold medalist. In the red corner, representing. What a performance, not just here, but throughout the competition. Three contests, she's dominated all of them. Demi Jade Restan has taken it well. I guess it's a little bit easier to swallow when you know you've just been beaten by the, uh, the better opponent on the day. But that's a very creditable silver medal for her. Yeah, definitely. She's Restan's box really good all the way through this, this tournament. And it's a, a perfect learning experience. She's still really young. And she's got, we've got a lot more to see from Restan. And we've got an awful lot more to see from Nitu Gangas. 21 years old and a seriously high-level operator. Well, it's the Paris Olympics in a couple of years. Make a note of this name because you may well see her picking up a medal in that competition as well. World Championships to come. But right now, Nitu Gangas of India at 21 years old is a Commonwealth Games gold medalist and she dominated the field. Mila hai, mili hai ek ubharta sitara. Neetu Ghangas ke roop mein aasaan nahi hai. Commonwealth Games mein behad mushkil hai boxing mein medals jeetna. Kyoki Britain ke jitne desh hai वहाँ पर एमएच और बॉक्सिंग का स्तर जो है लेवल जो है स्टैंडर्ड जो है वो बहुत अच्छा होता है चाहे आप इंग्लैंड के बात करें नॉर्दर्न आइलैंड की बात करें वेल्स या स्कॉटलैंड की कनाडा की भी बहुत अच्छे बॉक्सर्स इन देशों में से एमएच और लेवल पर निकल कर आते हैं मोहम्मद medalist from Canada Priyanka Dillon
प्रियंका ढेलन जिन्हें हराया था नीतू गंगस ने ब्रॉन्ज मेडल कनाडा के लिए जीत लिया है उन्होंने बोचवाना की ब्रॉन्ज मेडलिस्ट बोका मोसो मोदुका नेले प्रियंका ढिलो के साथ बोचवाना के लिए ब्रॉन्ज मेडल जीता है इन्होंने सेमीफाइनल हारी थी डेमी जेड रेस्टान से इंग्लैंड की बॉक्सर मेडलिस्ट में से अफ्रीका की एकमात्र मेडलिस्ट बोकामोसो मोडुका नेले सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड डेमी जेड रेस्टन डेमी जेड रेस्टन मुकाबला हुआ था इनका नीतू गंगस के खिलाफ और सच्चाई ये है कि नीतू गंगस बहुत आगे थी डेमी जेड रेस्टन से मगर एक और बॉक्सर मुझे यकीन है डेमी जेड रेस्टिन इनका नाम हमें आने वाले सालों में और सुनाई देगा सिल्वर मेडल इंग्लैंड के लिए From India, Neetu, Neetu. Podium par khadi rahengi Bharat ki shan Neetu Gangas. Pehla gold medal Commonwealth Games mein Neetu Gangas ke liye. Rasta aasan nahi tha, safar aasan nahi tha, magar jeet liya hai gold medal. Behtarin pradarshan ke saath Neetu Gangas ne apne weight category mein. इनके स्तर का कोई बॉक्सर था ही नहीं सच्चाई ये है नीतू गंगस अपने कंपटीशन से बहुत आगे थी फॉर दोज एबल प्लीज स्टैंड फॉर द नेशनल एंथम ऑफ इंडिया वक्त हो चला है भारत के राष्ट्रगान के लिए बहुत बहुत मुबारक आपको नीतू काबिल होनहार और शक्तिशाली बॉक्सर भारत की नीतू गंगस गोल्ड मेडल जीत लिया है उन्होंने 45 से 48 किलो कैटेगरी में जी हाँ आंखें नम है मगर दिल में है हिंदुस्तान